set the tone for your home. The foyer is the first space you see each time you enter your home. It should greet you and others with open arms. Because this space sets the tone for your home, it needs to be clean, welcoming, and clutter-free at all times. It should also reflect your taste and the general aesthetic of your household. Here are a few tips for sprucing up this space and giving it a warm and inviting feel. After all, you never know when your next guest will drop in. Establish a clean slate. The first and most important step is to deep clean the space. Empty it completely and scrub it down from top, including the crown molding and light fixtures, to bottom, the floors, including grout, if you have a tiled entryway. Make the whole place shine. Wipe down the front door, inside and outside, all moldings, baseboards, chair rails, door knobs, locks, mirrors, and walls. Clean up the staircase, dust the rails and surfaces, and wash any rugs or curtains. Next, declutter the hall closet. A clean foyer is the number one priority when setting the tone for your home and will make organizing and decorating a fun and enjoyable experience. Choose the right furniture. Find a piece of furniture where you can store all of those entryway necessities. Use a piece that will work in your space, maybe a tall chair with a coat rack or a new or repurposed square table if you have room. If you don't have the space, use the same system but set it up in the nearest hall closet or other hallway space. The ideal foyer table has a relatively slim profile with at least one shelf below for storage. Also repurpose a dresser for this space, or group some small end tables together. Update the rug, you can achieve a massive transformation in your foyer space by updating the rug or runner. Make sure your rug is clean and stylish, free from stains or cleaning. As the foyer is the main thoroughfare in your home, this rug will get a lot of use and will show shabbiness sooner than other parts of the space. It works hard and should be replaced, deep cleaned, or swapped out every year. Decorate after you have your organizing systems in place, it's time to decorate your space. The goal is to exude a welcoming atmosphere. Flowers, candles, a wreath, and a stylish rug make a world of difference. Make over the foyer. Have you ever walked into someone's house and seen a pile of shoes, bags, coats, and other clutter? It can be distracting and even unwelcoming to visitors. Once you've cleaned and reset your entryway, use these tips to organize the space and make the most of the area. You want it to work in your favor and help streamline the functionality of your home. If you don't have a designated foyer, think about sprucing up the area of your home that people first see when they walk in. Sort storage, find a few boxes or baskets for all your foyer items, like handbags, shoes, wallets, scarves, hats, umbrellas, sports gear, school bags, books, keys, and mail. Don't let the tabletop become a catch-all space for items people drop on their way in the door. The table will become buried almost instantly. You'll never be able to find the item you need, and your organized entryway will go out the window. Label each container and sort the items into categories. Winterwear, hats, gloves, earmuffs, and scarves. Rain gear, umbrellas, ponchos, rain boots, etc. Aromatherapy, candles, wax melts, and lighters. Shoe covers. If you have a no-shoes rule, keep shoe covers available for guests who cannot take their shoes off. Shopping bags. Keep extra reusable bags or plastic shopping bags on hand. Pets, cat toys, leashes, doggy bags, and other pet items. Corral coats and shoes. Keep the hall closet free from clutter. Designate the space for coats, shoes, and bags only, or implement a system that works for your family. We usually keep our coats and shoes in our mudroom. You can also keep a basket and a coat hook near your front door for these items. If you don't have a mudroom, consider. Creating a space in your garage, see item 065. In my house, shoes equal clutter, so our rule at home is no shoes in the foyer. My kids carry their shoes to the mudroom or place them in a shoe basket in my husband's office, which happens to be near the foyer. If you don't have a mudroom or are part of a no-shoes household, hang a shoe organizer rack on the inside of the closet door. This will keep shoes off the floor and out of the way. 
If you don't mind the shoes but want to avoid the dirt, put down a textured mat for feet wiping, or a pebbled boot tray to drain water, you can DIY one with some river stones for an attractive, no puddle solution for rainy days. Make over the foyer. Have you ever walked into someone's house and seen a pile of shoes, bags, coats, and other clutter? It can be distracting and even unwelcoming to visitors. Once you've cleaned and reset your entryway, use these tips to organize the space and make the most of the area. You want it to work in your favor and help streamline the functionality of your home. If you don't have a designated foyer, think about sprucing up the area of your home that people first see when they walk in. Sort storage, find a few boxes or baskets for all your foyer items, like handbags, shoes, wallets, scarves, hats, umbrellas, sports gear, school bags, books, keys, and mail. Don't let the tabletop become a catch-all space for items people drop on their way in the door, the table will become buried almost instantly, you'll never be able to find the item you need, and your organized entryway will go out the window. Label each container and sort the items into categories. Winterwear, hats, gloves, earmuffs, and scarves. Rain gear, umbrellas, ponchos, rain boots, etc. Aromatherapy, candles, wax melts, and lighters. Shoe covers, if you have a no-shoes rule, keep shoe covers available for guests who cannot take their shoes off. Shopping bags, keep extra reusable bags or plastic shopping bags on hand. Pets, cat toys, leashes, doggy bags, and other pet items. Corral coats and shoes. Keep the hall closet free from clutter. Designate the space for coats, shoes, and bags only, or implement a system that works for your family. We usually keep our coats and shoes in our mudroom. You can also keep a basket and a coat hook near your front door for these items. If you don't have a mudroom, consider. Creating a space in your garage, see item 065. In my house, shoes equal clutter, so our rule at home is no shoes in the foyer. My kids carry their shoes to the mudroom or place them in a shoe basket in my husband's office, which happens to be near the foyer. If you don't have a mudroom or are part of a no-shoes household, hang a shoe organizer rack on the inside of the closet door. This will keep shoes off the floor and out of the way. If you don't mind the shoes but want to avoid the dirt, put down a textured mat for feet wiping or a pebbled boot tray to drain water, you can DIY one with some river stones for an attractive, no-puddle solution for rainy days.